So one of the biggest questions I get asked on this channel by people that reach out to me looking to move here in Central Florida or just in the comments is what areas in Central Florida do I think are going to boom? And I think it's a really, really great question. So today we're going to talk about what areas I think are going to grow and might be the best investment for you if you're looking to move here in Central Florida. Hey guys, this is Will of LPT Realty and today we're going to be talking about three cities that I think are going to grow a ton. Um, these are areas that I've kind of done videos on. One of these areas I haven't touched, but I do think between all the new development growth, the location, that these might be some of the best areas that you can call home. So today we're going to dive into those three cities and let you know what I think. And I really want to hear back from you guys. What do you think? Do you like these areas? Do you think they're going to grow? Um, or do you think I'm just dead wrong? So let's get into what three cities in Central Florida are going to boom. Now, the first of these three cities, I've done a few videos on, but it's gonna be Claremont, Florida. Known for its rolling hills and amazing topography, beautiful lakes. You might already be thinking, hey, Claremont's already expensive, Will. Um, it's already growing. Um, I don't know if it's gonna grow that much more, and I'm gonna have to strongly disagree with you if that's your opinion. Um, not just residents and potential residents, but developers and business are all in on Claremont and its high growth opportunities. They've tapped this as a place that is going to continue to grow, um, most notably by the projects that are still coming here that are absolutely massive. The attitude in the past five to 10 years has definitely changed. And I think that's definitely attributed to how fast it's grown. If you would have asked someone 10 years ago, would they prefer Claremont versus like a Winter Garden? You probably would have gotten Winter Garden 100%. And while some people might still agree with that today, I think a lot has changed. A lot has been developed in Claremont um, to really make it a place that people want to live and a top destination here in Central Florida. What I think is really cool about Claremont is you still get that mix of that old Florida charm. I mentioned all the nature and the topography, but you go to that downtown area, which I think has a ton of room for growth because of how close it is to the lake. Um, you still have that, which you don't have in a ton of places here in Central Florida. On top of that, you're getting major development projects. Um, the first one that comes to everyone's mind is, of course, going to be that Olympus project, where you're getting over 250 acres of an integrated health, wellness, residential, retail, mixed-use development. The really cool thing is we're going to add more inventory with that. We're going to need an estimated 1,000 homes. Um, we already have developers building there. You have Ridgely over by Lancy. David Weekly's tapped the area that they're going to develop in. So do you think that this is going to compete with Sunbridge? And I also think what's really cool about Claremont is you're actually going to get a new Costco. It's going to be our fourth in the immediate Central Florida area, which I get asked about a lot, and you're getting a new Tesla dealership. So obviously people are investing, um, not just people, but also businesses in Claremont. So let me know what you think. Do you think this Olympus project is all this development Claremont's getting is going to rival or be better than Tavistock Sunbridge over in St. Cloud? Because um, you know, I don't know, it just might be. Now, the next thing on our list, which I think has a huge high growth opportunity, is going to be Mineola, Florida. And if you don't know where it is, it's actually a neighbor to Claremont. You're only about 15 minutes away, depending on where you're at. So you still share some of those nature qualities, like you're right in Lake County still, so you get a lot of those lakes. Mineola's actually on Lake Mineola, if you didn't know where the name came from. I mean, you get some of that topography, maybe not as cool as Claremont, but you do get a lot of that topography since they're so close. And similarly, it's growing really, really fast. Um, one of the cool projects that just got announced last week was that Crooked Can Brewery development, um, which is gonna be a food hall, 40,000 square feet. You're gonna have food, outdoor space, and breweries, very similar to Armature Works in Tampa. Um, so I'm really curious to see which one's gonna be better. Um, let me know down below, have you guys been at Armature Works? Do you guys like the whole food hall trend that's been coming to Central Florida and Florida in general? Um, but once again, people have said that Lineal is a high growth area. Even Publix, which is building a new one there, said this place is growing in population. Um, and it just has a lot of good things going on, so we want to build one here. So I think similarly to Claremont, this is a place that's going to grow a lot, that also has a little bit of a quieter lifestyle. I notice it's not as busy in Mineola as it is in Claremont. I mean, you still have a lot of brand new development, and you have a lot of newer homes. So I think it has a great opportunity for growth as more commercial projects continue to come, um, and still being somewhat reasonably priced um, compared to nearby cities like Winter Garden or Windigner. So the last city on our list today is going to be St. Cloud. And if you've been following real estate here in Central Florida, you know St. Cloud is a high growth area, particularly because of that Sunbridge development they're having. So if you don't already know about Sunbridge, I did a whole video on and giving you the ins and outs, but really quickly, it's going to be about four times the size as Lake Nona, same developers as Lake Nona. And if you know anything about Lake Nona, you know how fast it's grown in Orlando. Um, so this is literally 10 minutes up the street. Um, it's going to be four times as big and offer everything Lake Nona has and possibly even more. Now, I think that this is a really cool opportunity because St. Cloud is a huge city. So you're not only getting this huge, cool project um, with Sunbridge, um, you're also getting a lot of this nature and greenery that you don't really get in a lot of places in Central Florida. I think St. Cloud has been able to retain that old school Florida charm. Um, so people that might not even like new development, if they go a little bit deeper into the city, they can find something there um, for a relatively reasonable price. And to kind of tag along with that new development point, you have a lot of available inventory, which if you've been looking for a home here in Florida for the past few years, you know, it's been tough. Um, but the builders are getting a lot of incentives right now since the market's cooled down a bit and those rates have gone up. So if you want to get a home um, at a decent price and get a ton of incentives, I'm basically begging you to buy the home. Um, that would be a great opportunity for, for you as well. They're still working on the first neighborhood, Wesleyan Park, um, but there's more neighborhoods to come. You're in the water basin in phase two. It's going to be really, really cool. 
But we also have more commercial projects coming. Um, the Roan Bridge project is going to add even more retail um, and commercial space for people to enjoy. So I think you can see that developers are really betting on this place. It is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. And outside of just normal residential and commercial development, a big question that's been asked me of parents is one of the new schools coming to accommodate that new population growth that we've seen here. Once again, it is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. And gladly, they are working on their first K through eight school um, in the Wesleyan Park neighborhood. They just broke ground on that. Um, so I know that's been asking me a ton. So we're getting that. We're probably gonna have to accommodate with another high school, but the area has just been growing so much. Um, and if you wanna get a home for you know a relatively decent price, um, either have an older home a little bit further south of St. Cloud on a lot of land, you got gated communities, um, really anything you want here, especially new development and new construction. Um, you can get it here and not have to pay Lake Nona prices, but what do you think? Do you think that Sunbridge is going to be better than Lake Nona? Um, some people prefer Osceola County. Some people prefer Orange County. Um, let me know down below. What do you think is going to be the better of the two um, 10 years from now when they're both completed? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick video on what three cities in Central Florida that I think are going to boom. But I want to hear it down below. Do you agree with me? Um, do you think I'm wrong? I don't know what I'm talking about. Or do you think I'm right? Um, do the residents here agree that they've made an upside on that equity since moving here? Well, I'd really love to hear your thoughts down below. But if you want to stay up to date with everything we have coming to you in Central Florida, make sure to click that subscribe button down below. And I'm going to catch you guys next time.